I got balls coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. If you're looking for a delicious party treat, I've got them right here in this bowl. We're making Asian style meatballs, perfect for your next party. I hope you try them and enjoy very easy recipe. We're starting with a cup of panko breadcrumbs, adding half a cup of cream, stir them together. Breadcrumbs don't really lose their shape, but they soak up a little bit of that cream. This will help our meatballs bind. In a medium sized bowl, two types of poultry. I have ground chicken and ground turkey in the bowl. Now we add in those breadcrumbs, pour them in, and now we're onto some vegetable complements. Quarter cup chopped scallion, quarter cup finely diced red pepper, quarter cup water chestnuts. You can find water chestnuts in the store. They come in a can, drain them, and then finely dice them. If you don't have water chestnuts, substitute with celery. We add our vegetables in. Now we're gonna add a flavor boost. I have one tablespoon of freshly chopped garlic, one tablespoon of fine grated ginger. Notice I take the ginger and I don't grate it straight on. I turn it onto its side. This helps break down the fibers when you grate ginger. Now we're gonna amp up the flavor with a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Hands are washed, they go into the bowl. And now we're gonna start rolling little one inch balls. Place them onto a lined baking sheet. You'll need two baking sheets. The recipe yields 48 meatballs. Oven is preheated, 425 degrees. Both trays go in and we're gonna bake the meatballs for 15 minutes. While they're in the oven, let's make a delicious sauce. Over to stove top, saucepan, half a cup of chicken stock, quarter cup of soy sauce, four teaspoons crunchy peanut butter, two tablespoons honey, honey, four teaspoons seasoned rice wine vinegar, two teaspoons sesame oil, one tablespoon chopped garlic, two teaspoons of miso paste. You're gonna notice I didn't put salt in the recipe. The salt will come from the soy sauce and the miso paste. All the ingredients are in the saucepan. Whisk them together, bring them to temperature. As soon as it comes to a boil, reduce to simmer, let it stay on the stove top. We're gonna make some garnishes. I have two scallion cut on, turn it on an angle so you get a nice presentation. I also have some salted peanuts, finely chopped, and then sesame seeds. 15 minute mark, if you're a little nervous, take one meatball out of the oven, cut it in half. Yeah, meatballs are done, eat it, taste it, be amazed by it. And now we take all of our completed meatballs into a medium sized bowl, pour them in there, and then we're adding on that gorgeous sauce. Give it a little toss, add half your chopped peanuts, add half the scallion, sprinkle of sesame seeds, stir everything together, and then into an attractive bowl. Once they're in the bowl, again, a little bit more of the scallion, the chopped peanuts, and the sesame seeds and you're good to go. I love serving them in a bowl like this because the ones at the bottom will stay uh, warm while the others get picked off but they don't last for very long. I don't know if that's really a smart thing to do or not. Serve them with attractive cocktail picks. Make sure you have 48 in this little container because you've got 48 meatballs. Actually you've got 47 because I'm going to eat one. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flavor, texture, perfectly prepared and a little bit of the crunch from the water chestnut. Mm. Asian style meatballs, call your friends, throw a party, if only to serve this delicious dish. Looking for other delicious dishes? Say that 10 times fast. Head to weekendatthecottage.com. Please remember to sign up for our website when you're there. Also look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe, click for notifications, drop us comments, and give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. And then finally, on our dedicated social media platforms, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Serve up some Asian style meatballs. Your party will be a hit, guaranteed. After that, come on back and visit again soon. Take care.